Hello, hello. <clears throat> Sorry about the delay. Uh, YouTube was having a bit of a problem. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, here that doubled up now. Ableton. How's everybody doing tonight? Today, wherever you're calling from. It started in just a few minutes. We'll let people join in. Check. Okay, that's right. <laughs> Excuse me. Miran, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well, thanks. I'm doing well. Alex, how are you? Raphael. I have your track here, Moran, I think. We'll see if I can do both. Do to do to do to do. Probably get started at eight ten, which is in about four minutes. That'll give people enough time to jump in. About 15, I think 15 tracks tonight. So that's good. If I don't reply to your message, it's just on Patreon, it's just because I'm grabbing them all. Yeah, no problem. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> oh, I just realized I put the wrong date on my Patreon. Oh, geez, that's probably, that was my mistake. So, oh, geez. Okay. So I put the 28th, I meant to put the 24th. I do my Patreon streams on the twenty on the uh, the Sundays, so <clears throat> hopefully people can still make it tonight. Oops. For anybody who sees this after the fact, and I I put the wrong date, my apologies. Um, send me your track, and I will do a feedback for you personally after if you haven't sent it already. Um. But everybody else, I've I made a post today, uh, so hopefully everyone saw it, and then they can jump in the stream now. If not, you can just uh, send it to me. I'll give you personal feedback, and then 
um <clears throat> you'll just have to jump on the stream uh next month Joseph, are you in the chat? Okay, we'll get started in just a minute. Corey, are you in the chat as well? I just need your track to be downloadable on SoundCloud. Okay, let me get started. <clears throat> Maybe if we have time after, I can do a little bit of music streaming. We'll see. Uh, is the stream coming through properly for everybody? YouTube's telling me that it's it's giving problems, but it, uh, please let me know if it's if it's coming through all right for everybody. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Okay, let's get started. Okay, thanks, Corey. Got your track. How is everybody tonight? Today, tonight. Um, it's eight o'clock p.m. for me. It's not too too late. Okay, awesome. Thanks. Yeah, YouTube is telling me it's it's not working. I, it was acting up a little bit earlier, so just want to make sure that it's still good. Okay, great. So let's get started then. Let me share my screen. My face looks a little bit green from the Ableton. And I will grab span. Actually, let's do the whole mixing rack. <clears throat> okay, there we go. All right. Start up at the top here. Uh, actually, I'll start at the bottom because they were the ones that submitted first. Uh, there are another track. There is another track or two uh, from. Uh, let me find her name here. Veronica. Veronica, if you're in the chat, uh, please let me. Uh, please, please make your track downloadable so that I can download it and put that in, um, in 
video uh, in the live stream because I can't get access to it without. And let's get started. So up first we have Mr. Mojo uh, with Napoli, I believe. Go off. <clears throat> and can you guys hear that or do I have to change my settings? You should be able to hear it. Can't hear Ableton. Give me one sec. <clears throat> this should work now. Nope, that doesn't work. One moment as I fix the settings. It's always a pain to set these streams up, so I apologize. <clears throat> Uh, let's try this maybe. No, I can't hear anything. Okay, oh, here we go. Okay, you should be able to hear it now. Awesome, thank you. Overall, really nice. <clears throat> nice vibe. <clears throat> uh, overall, really nice vibe. I'm liking the direction so far. My only issue... The kick could have a little bit more top end. Just a little bit. A little bit of crunchiness, maybe up at around like up here somewhere. And the hat could definitely have more presence as well. The The hat feels a little bit like it's nice and tight and, and uh, like sharp and it punches through quite nice, but it's a little bit quiet. Well, maybe not even quiet, but I feel like it could have a bit more power, a little bit more bulkiness maybe. And the shakery sounds could also be a little bit louder.
iceberg down. Those rides are the rides are a nice touch, but they're a little bit too. Um, I think there's a lot of mids to them, so I think they could be a bit brighter. Vocals really nice too. Clap is also quite a bit quiet, so I think turning that up will help. Love that vocal. Beautiful. Well done. Nice. Really nice addition there. So those ascending plucks do 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 do. Definitely could be louder. The clap could be louder. The kick could be a little bit punchier and get through the mix of it more. And those rides could be a little bit brighter, in my opinion. And the hi-hat could have a little bit more body to be a little bit, like, more present. Other than that, beautiful track. Really well done. Yeah, really, really enjoyed that track. Uh, up next we have, uh, I don't know who this is because they did not properly title their track. So if they're in the chat, uh, could you please let me know if this is your track? I'm going to move on to Keith Richards in bio right now or in bio and, uh, please let me know if this is your track and then I can give you the credit where credit's due. All right, so now we have Keith Richards. Raphael, okay, I'll, I'll cover your track next.
Okay, nice vibe. Main thing for me is the kick is a little bit weak right now. Like it's not punching through as well as it could. Oops. Feels like the top end, the pad strings, and they're just a little bit disconnected. They're just like a little bit higher than everything else in terms of presence. So I feel like the kick is just a little bit kind of in the background. Uh, Raphael, sorry, is the DPH your track? How you doing, Arrow? Arrow. Okay, cool. The bass line is also cool, but I don't know if it punches through enough as well. I feel like it could have more power if you bring that volume up. A little bit repetitive at this point. I like that. Breakdown's nice. That lead could be louder. Build up is nice. Nice. I like that. A nice pluck. Clap is nice too, but it's a little bit uh, quiet, I think. Again, I think that the strings... I don't know, maybe... I think the strings might be about 5 or 10% too loud, and it's kind of burying everything else. And 
the kick is just getting buried as well. So I think bring up the kick, push those strings down a little bit, and bring up the clap a little bit, and that's going to increase the drive of the track a little, a little bit as well. Whoops. And then maybe the bass can also be brought up a tiny bit. Right now, I'm mostly only hearing the hi-hats and the rides and the strings. So I think bring strings down a little, maybe the hi-hats and rides down by like one dB, like just slightly. But it actually, it's probably fine. I like them nice and bright like that. Uh, but well done overall. It's, an, it's a cool track, a little bit repetitive around here. Uh, maybe it can be a little bit shorter. Maybe you can bring the breakdown over to here instead. Um, but uh, curious to think, uh, curious to see what the people in the comments say. Um, if anybody has any other feedback, feel free to jump in. Uh, up next, we have Rafael uh, Campos. Is that your artist name uh, with this track here? Gonna turn it up a little bit. Okay, the kick's pretty overwhelming. The kick is very, uh, I'm just gonna throw a limiter on here. Uh, the kick is a bit overwhelming. It's too long and too boomy. So you're getting this big, big kick that's just like boom, boom, boom. It doesn't really leave much room for the bass line. So bassy. The vibe is nice though. Okay, so overall the kick is, is really boomy and bassy. It's taking up a lot of the power of the whole track. Turning it down helped a little bit, but it's still, yeah, it's just a little bit too excessive. Uh, the synths are nice. 
that lead you bring, nah, nah, nah. that lead you could definitely turn up a little bit and i would probably try excuse me try to put some delay and reverb on it as well because right now it feels a little bit dry Nice. The ideas are nice. The hi-hat is also not very punchy. It's not coming through the mix very strong. It's very flat sounding. It's like a type of sound. It's not like a strong hi-hat where it's like a doesn't punch through the mix. So it feels like it's just getting buried on top of the mix. You want something that's a little bit punchier so that it gives the track more dynamics. Baseline is nice, those little accents you have are nice, but you could probably bring those up in volume a little bit. Yeah, they could definitely be louder. So turn the kick down and make the kick shorter. So when you have a kick drum, if you drop that into a sample, uh, a sampler, uh, so insert a MIDI, and I bring in a sampler. Oh, that's like the shortest kick ever. But you can see that a kick is quite long and you can go into the one shot mode and you can shorten it like this. And a good kick is around 200, 250 milliseconds. And yours sounds like it's like 300 and it's very bassy and long. So I would reduce that and it would clean up a lot of the track. Punchier hi-hat would help. The clap could also be much louder. Strings come down a little bit. And those leads up quite a bit. The ARP is okay where it is, but that new dun 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 needs to be louder. And they're probably conflicting for the same frequencies. So you could actually sidechain compress the ARP from the lead. So when the ARP is playing, the do 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 when the lead comes in, use a compressor and sidechain it to that lead. So when the, when the nu, 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 nu comes in, it'll trigger the compressor, squish down the ARP and let the lead play. And then when the, when the lead is done playing, the ARP will come back in. It's the same thing with a kick and bass, except instead of the bass, you're choosing the ARP and instead of the kick, you're choosing the lead. And that will make room for that sound. Um, yeah, welcome Mr. Mojo. Thanks for the, uh, the great track as usual. Uh, Herbert, you were having a problem earlier with Ableton where when you played, when you, when play stopped, two of the tracks still played very quietly and I couldn't stop them. When I froze and flattened it, it fixed it. Any ideas what caused this? No, but I've been having problems with Ableton too. Um, for some reason, sometimes when I'm playing stuff, it just screeches. I don't know why. It's like this really loud 
high-pitched screech and they stop and I play it again and it'll keep doing it a few times and then it'll just stop. It's very strange, but sometimes there's things in Ableton you can't really understand or kind of perceive what the, why they're doing that. Um, okay. So up next we have uh, Emiliano with Moon. I'm assuming that's Moonlight. Take a listen to that. quiet and throw a limiter on there as well cool vibe yeah my pleasure FIL that's what we're here for Okay, overall the vibe is cool. The hi-hats are quite quiet. Or, sorry, not quiet, but um, the open hat is a little bit like quiet. It The, the other hats are okay, the sharper ones, but the open ones uh, could maybe be a little bit louder. Bass. Bass is okay. Those leads sound good. Nice.
The effects in the breakdown kind of threw me off a little bit. Like this big riser is just a bit cheesy in my opinion. Like it's it's a kind of a cop out. That so just feels like, boom, there's an effect. Maybe a bit of reverb on it would make it feel not so dry and like obvious, if that makes sense. Um... And then the build is very big, and then the payoff is a little bit, you lose a little bit of energy. The ARP sounds good though. The clap is also quite crunchy and it's kind of distracting a little bit. So I would choose a little bit less of a crunchy clap. Personally, at least. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh, all right, up next we have Singularity. Uh, I, I Again, I don't know who this is by. Oh, F Singularity, it's ID. Okay, my bad. Um, yeah, cool track overall, Emiliano. Um, I did enjoy it. Uh, really nice vibe overall. Just a couple things that I think could be improved upon. But um, well done. Main thing for me was the, the difference in the energy of the drop. Um, Maybe the, the buildup was just a little bit too big for what the payoff was, and that's why it was a little bit thrown off for me. vibe
Nice vibe. Groovy. Really like the breakdown. Wow. Very cool. like Guy J vibes. Okay, overall, really cool, really nice vibes. It's like Guy J type vibes, very trippy, very modular sounding. Mix is well balanced. The kick, I think, is a tiny, tiny bit louder than everything else. I don't know if it's maybe a little bit too punchy. How you doing, Paul? Uh, yeah, it's uh, a little bit too punchy, I think, so it's kind of distracting a little bit. Maybe a tiny bit more low end and a tiny less around this area on the EQ, like around 100 to 300 where the punchiness really sits of a kick. Uh, maybe a tiny, tiny scoop there, like... Uh, uh like maybe like forget that like something like this like a very narrow scoop around here trying to pull a little bit of that like that like that area Yeah, right around here. And then a bit more low end, maybe overall. I, that's just my opinion. It's, uh, I, it's not really that big of a deal. It's just something that I'm noticing. Yeah, it just feels like the, the mix is a little bit thin on the low end and the mids are a little bit high. 
So maybe a tiny bit more warmth. And in, in the mastering as well, it'll probably fix that, but a little bit more warmth and fullness in the lows and a little bit more uh, saturation in the highs, like the hi-hats and stuff. They're nice and sharp, but they're not full as they could be. Very subtle, by the way. It's not a big difference, uh, not a, a big change that you'll, uh, that you could do, but it could be beneficial to have that. It would make the low end and the high end feel a bit more powerful. Um, hope that helps. TNC with Sans Nova. That last track was F Singularity. This is TNC. Great baseline. Main thing is that the, the bass and kick it's a it's a t uh, it's not bad. It's just a tiny bit flat. It might just be over compressed. Take a look at the waveforms here. Uh no. Maybe I'm just being a little bit picky. Really nice. So see how the kick is quite loud and it's actually a little bit too loud for the high end. But to be honest, it actually sounds really punchy in the high end. So that's actually really good. But the kick itself maybe is a little bit too long, which is why no, maybe not. I don't know. There's something about it I can't put my finger on. I don't know. Uh, maybe it needs a bit more high end. There's something about it that I'm, I'm trying to figure out, but there's just something holding it back, I think. Uh, maybe it's the clap. Uh, the clap... It's it's a bit quiet and the reverb on it is a dis bit distracting. I would turn that clap up a little bit and maybe shorten the tail a little bit. How you doing, Amit? Uh, Amit? Am I pronouncing that right? Amit?
Really cool vibe. Hat's punching through really nicely. Overall vibe is good, it's catchy, it's groovy. Yeah, really well done. Not really much to say about that. Maybe the kick could have a tiny bit more high end up in the like 10K plus area to make it snap through the mix a bit better. And then you could probably turn it down a dB. Actually, no, don't turn it down. Um, but that'll help it punch through. Uh, I have another track by TNC. I'm just going to go over this one quickly because I don't want to, uh, I usually don't like letting people have more than one track. Uh, but because we don't have too many in here tonight, I can go over this quickly. Yeah, my pleasure, Miran. It's, it was a really nice track. This is sounding nice too. Yeah, yeah, you can still send in your track. Okay, I don't love these synths. They feel very thin and like you can't really make out what they actually are, but I love what you did here. Awesome energy. Yeah, great energy. The hats are a bit uh, quiet on this one. They're like more shakery and I don't really have that strong like up and down vibe uh, of the groove. So maybe a stronger off hat would sound good so that the kick and the hat go. It doesn't, it's not necessary. It doesn't need it. Uh, you know, does not every track needs a hat like that, but it is feeling a little bit like uh, Quiet so you could if you're gonna keep those hats. I would just turn them up a little bit Up next we have Alexander Manrique and uh, Yeah, overall TNC both tracks are pretty nice. I love what you did with that groove there, too. Really really well done
Okay, so for this one, the bass is a bit too loud compared to everything else. If I look at the waveform, you probably see it. Uh, look how loud is that? Yeah, that's the bass. Uh, the bass is actually loud, louder than the kick. So the, the bass itself is too loud. Yeah, my pleasure, Imran. Um, yeah. Well, that's cool. I like the groove, I like the vibe a lot. It's just that bass is so loud. Oh, nice. Cool chord progression, the cool plex. Groove's nice, instruments are nice. The clap is quite quiet and it's a little bit weak in the mix. Turn the clap up, those leads sound really cool. Thanks for the donation, Third Eye. You can uh, send your track. Uh, I will make you an admin. And you'll be able to send your track in. Uh, overall, nice track, Alexander. A uh, very cool vibe. Just fix that bass being too loud. I love all the little like sounds you have in the background. Love the melodies and stuff. Really well done. Just fix that bass and the clap. And that'll be a really nice track. Everything else feels very balanced. Up next, we have a regular with Deep Papaya. This is from Umbra. Third Eye, you should be able to post your track in the chat now.
Hey, Jeff, thanks so much. You're my very first super fan. Awesome. Thank you so much. Very cool vibe. Hey D, how are you? Uh, I did not get your submission. Or maybe I did, let me check. As for this track, Deep Papaya, uh, I don't love how the intro is a bit short maybe you're just not done with the arrangement yet but the intro coming out here instead of at the one minute mark will be confusing for djs that are mixing in just keep in mind that it should be probably at the one minute mark or the uh 64 at like you know 32 64 128 so you should be at 128 beats here which is four uh which is 32 bars so uh just be aware of that like if i go here one bar it's gonna be 32 here that's usually when you want to bring in like a breakdown or something. Uh, but overall, the vibe is really nice. Oh, yeah, I got it here, D. Clap sounds like really nice and punchy. Like, slaps really well. Stand a little bit to the left. Maybe it would be a better if it was a little bit more centered. That synth is really nice. Thanks, Third Eye. I'll grab your track here. Liking this vibe to Pio. So this is the breakdown. Again, thanks to Jeff for being my very first super on YouTube. Breakdown felt a little bit long. I would probably shorten the breakdown as well, Papaya. A mix is well balanced. Everything feels like it's loud and in its good place.
So well done on that. But yeah, I think just this breakdown needs to be pushed forward a bit. This breakdown could be a little bit shorter. Very cool sounds. Uh, overall, really interesting. So well done. Uh, up next, we have <clears throat> Swaha by Third Eye. Thank you, Swaha. I mean, thank you, Third Eye. <laughs> uh, and then we have, after that, Corey, and then DO5. And if there's anybody else in the chat that hasn't submitted yet, or is there anybody that I missed? Sometimes I miss the messages on Patreon. Actually, I'll use a limiter. There's actually one person that I submitted on SoundCloud, so I can do that one next. No, no, go ahead, Jeff. that that chord progression and the and the sound as well hey how's it going bsim bsim i never know how to pronounce people's names on here but hello how are you i haven't seen you in a while actually So I like the chord progression a lot. I don't love the clap at all. Shakers are a little bit iffy as well. I like the open hat, but it's a bit quiet. Probably fine actually, it's kind of fits the vibe. Yeah, I think the kick feeling delayed is mostly from the clap. It's like the kick comes in, but the clap comes in before it and just throws off the timing a little bit. Hey, you and Alejandro. The chords, the melodies are really nice though.
I don't love the build up. But I love the payoff, which is weird. I think maybe take the kick out of this part. Maybe filter out some of the low end or something while it's building. It just feels a little bit like you're kind of back in the track, but not really. Uh, like it's dropped in a little bit, but it's just lacking some power. So I think pull out a little bit more energy from here. And then when it drops back in, it'll be even more powerful. Um, but the payoff, the drop does sound really nice when you bring in that high pad again. Sounds really good. But I think, yeah, the buildup, I didn't... I didn't think the buildup was just a little bit out of place. But everyone in the chat seems to like it. Really love the atmospheric sounds. Well done overall. Uh, as for the mix, yeah, that clap throws me off. The kick is a little bit like, it might be a little bit too snappy for the style. It's kind of just punching through a little bit too much in my opinion. It's just very like boom, boom. And a lot of like kind of noise. <laughs> so maybe touching it up with some EQ, maybe pulling out a little bit of Yeah, like around here. Yeah, like the knocking of the kick. To me, it just sounds a little bit off. Um, maybe a little bit of high end in the kick. I don't know. It's hard with all the mix, but yeah, it just feels like the kick could be a bit warmer. Not so like mid-present in that like snappy mids. It just feels like it's too knocky like a knocking sound. Um, very subtle though. It's it's mostly, honestly, and mostly a matter of taste, but I think it might sound a little bit better with those. Um, yeah, my pleasure. Thank you so much for the donation. Um, okay, we have Corey and DO5 next. Corey, are you in the chat? You were earlier, so I'm going to assume that you are now. And then we have DO5. Before and then we have one more from uh, Verolila. I just want to make sure Corey's in the chat before I jump into his track. Should you cut the transient and the kick? It's it's kind of just like, whoops. Uh, it just, to me, feels like, like, i bring this in somewhere. To me, it feels like there's too much of like this. You know what I mean? So it feels like it's knocking kind of hard and that makes the low end feel a bit weak to me. So either you can bring up the high end a bit to make it a bit crunchier or you can try to pull down this a little bit in the kick. Uh, to try and balance that. Um, but yeah, to me, it just felt like a little bit too much of that mid-presence. And it was just kind of distracting. Um, not a big deal, though. Just something that I could try and put my finger on. Uh, okay, Corey is in the chat. So I will jump into his track next. And then we'll do DO5. And then finally, we'll do uh, Vera, Le Vera Leela, who will be on a SoundCloud link.
Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks, Third Eye. Hey, Juliana, how are you? Thanks for joining. Okay, so the vibe is really cool, but I'm going to start over from the beginning because when you are writing music to, that is typically played in a club, it's hard for DJs to mix into stuff like this. Oh, thanks, Julianne. So it's... Uh, it's hard for DJs to play this in a club because there's already, uh, there's already like muse, uh, like melodic elements. Uh, so because there's melodic elements, it becomes difficult to play because then what you're mixing, um, might overlap with that and might sound bad. So, um. Uh, th thanks, Juliana, for the uh, the donation and uh, your first super on my live stream. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, absolutely, you, Juliana. You can definitely send it over. Um, and the kick, lack of kick in the beginning as well. When there's no kick, it's hard for DJs to mix into it because they don't have a beat to catch on to. Cool sound though, I really like it. Baseline's nice too. And yeah, uh, Juliana, I'll make you an admin so that you can um, post the link here. I'm sure some people in the chat probably know your music, Juliana. If you guys don't, then definitely check her out. sounds nice mix on the on the leads the kick is a bit stagnant in my opinion it it, it uh not stagnant uh flat so it doesn't punch through very well there's not a lot of high end either so it's not really it's not cutting through the mix um and the bass it, it feels like it's not not really passing through the bass very well. Maybe needs more side chain compression. I love that synth. Juliana, can you make the track downloadable so I can add it to Ableton? The clap also is quite thin and a little bit like really high end. Um, so it, to me, it doesn't sound as good as it could. If you chose like maybe a little bit lower of a sound or even just like a better sounding clap, I think it would sound really nice on this idea. But right now that kind of like type of clap just doesn't sit as well as I think other ones would.
Dankeschön. Very nice. Very cool idea. The, uh it's pretty loud. The synths are pretty loud. They're a little bit too loud, I think. Um, surprisingly, the kick is still punching through quite heavily with these loud synths. But I think they're just still maybe 10% too loud. Builds very nicely though. Sorry, my other song is playing on it. What other song? Did you guys hear two songs playing? Um, I don't hear any other songs, uh, Corey. You could, I don't, know, I don't know if something maybe came in through the background. I have no idea. Thanks, Alejandro. Uh, you want to post your... That's so weird. I did, literally didn't hear it. Nice. Very cool. Alejandro, where did you send the link? I'm going to make you an admin so that you can post it in the chat. Very cool track, Corey. Uh, I think that overall the kick needs a little bit of snappiness to cut through the mix. Uh, and the... The kick, in comparison to everything else, is a bit quiet, but I think it's mostly just your synths and strings and vocals are maybe like 5 to 10% too loud. So because of that, everything else feels a bit buried. Um, just slightly, though, because it's a very unique style of track. I don't think it needs to be traditionally mixed. I don't think you need a super loud kick and a super sharp hat, um, but... And your bass line sounds good as well. I think, yeah, those things just being a little bit quieter would help the whole track breathe a bit better. Um, uh, Jeff, uh, let me, sorry, I'll, I'll have to make you an admin. Um, I thought I did already, but maybe it didn't go through. Okay, so you should be an admin now, Jeff, and you should be able to comment a link. And same with you, Alejandro. And anybody else, if they're trying to send links through the chat, you need to be an admin first, so you just have to let me know. Um, okay, up next we have D, and then we're going to have uh, Juliana's track, and um, Variola's track, Jeff, and Alejandro. Okay, so let's open up Juliana's next. Uh, D's next, sorry. All right, let's listen to D. D is a... 
a regular on the channel, so I appreciate your support, D, always. And I always appreciate your music as well. I always tell the chat, uh, I always tell the stream that D is one of the first progressive house artists I ever listened to. Okay, got it, Jeff. Thanks. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Very cool intro. This would be great live. Nice chords. Oops. Oh, I love that delay. Very nice chord progression. I like the movement and the like modulation. That's so weird that there was two tracks playing at once because I literally don't hear... I never heard that. Yeah, Dead Mouse score, definitely. Very strong chords. Kick might be a little bit too weak, I think. It just, it's not punching through as well as everything else. It kind of gets buried, especially around here and here. Very cool. Very cool track D as usual. Not much more feedback than that. There's a uh, very unique vibe. Uh, the kick, it gets a little bit buried. 
Uh, so the build up, I, uh, one of the effects in the build up was a bit too loud. Uh, but the chords are really nice, really groovy, really gritty and powerful. Uh, really cool track. This would be such a cool track for like a live set uh, for a lot of DJs. Like definitely like a pride of vibe, like someone said here. Well done. Thanks for submitting and thank you for the support, D. Uh, okay, up next we will do uh, who was first. I think Jeff was probably first. Yes, Jeff was first. Uh, and then Juliana. Okay, so we'll do Jeff's track. Um, and then... Uh, so Jeff's is this one here. So Malu from the sky. Yeah, D, I think you should finish it. Sounds like it's almost done. Cool vibe already. intro Ooh. nice baseline maybe a tiny bit too loud in the baseline but it's a cool idea the kick doesn't punch through as well as it could Builds nicely, but I think it needs more uh, volume out of those plucks. Am I planning to do more Alex Orion tutorials? Um, I'm gonna see if Alex will come on the channel. I'm gonna ask him if he'll do something on the channel, but I don't know if I'll cover his style again. Maybe. It just doesn't seem... I, I don't know if I would cover someone's style twice, but if, if not people want it, maybe I will. Oh, that's a great compliment. Juliana said that it makes her feel like she wants to make music by hearing this. It's inspirational to her, which is amazing. Compliment. Nice chords and strings. Really beautiful sounding. Whoa. Great progression. I expect that. Very cool.
So I love this idea. It sounds super cool. What I think would sound really cool is if you automated the side chain, because the side chain here is heavy. Which sounds awesome. It sounds like a really cool, unique effect that I haven't heard very much. But uh I think it'd be really cool if you like automated it so that when it gets over to like here or something, the side chain lets loose and you fade away from that effect. And when it comes back in again, like here, you put it back on. So it kind of feels like you're losing that bit of side chain. It feels a bit more loose. And then when it comes back in here, you go back to that hard energy. That's just an idea I had. I mean, it's your track, but uh, really cool. And I thought an idea I had. Really nice track. Really, really cool. Everyone loved it in the chat too. Um... Yeah, just clean up the mix a little bit. The kick. I think the bass needs to come down maybe like 2 dB. Maybe like 1 or 2. Maybe not Maybe not 2 full dB. It just it feels a bit muddy. But to be fair, my ears might be getting a little bit numb. So maybe just uh, use your best judgment on that one. But... Actually, if I turn it up, it sounds really well balanced. So maybe it's just because I was listening on a lower volume. Um, overall, it sounds really nice. I'd probably turn the clap up a little bit though. That's it. Uh, up next, we have uh, Alejandro's track, El Bombastico, uh, Emotional Responses to Music. Um, or sorry, we have Juliana's next. Where did it go? Here it is. Uh, we'll do Juliana's next because she was next in line, I believe. Yes, okay. Uh, and then we'll do uh, the last one. To me is the bass is a bit loud to me at the it's about the same volume as the kick you can even see it here so i'm losing a lot of power of the kick like it doesn't have that strong groove because the the bass and kick just feel flat against each other thanks jeff This sounds really cool. The 
kick and bass being less dynamic in this makes it feel like it's uh, a little bit more of a um a non-typical progressive track like this sounds almost more like an electronica or like an experimental type track so you could definitely do the louder kick quiet uh louder bass with the kick it because it feels intentional it feels like you're intentionally uh, at first, I didn't because I know your style. But if if this is what you're trying to do, you're intentionally making it a bit unique by making the bass and kick not so like groovy, then that works too. But if you want it to be groovier, then I think that the bass has to go a little bit quieter so that the kick can punch through a bit. Um, but sounds super cool. Come alive, come alive. I love that lead. Uh, I probably won't be doing a how to make music like on Hall Stat. I did one a. I did one a long time ago. Actually, it might be on my Patreon somewhere. Let me check. No, it's not on my Patreon. I thought I had it there, but I don't. Um, maybe I'll do one eventually. Yeah, it's like it's like melodic house and techno or melodic techno. But it's like a great opener track. This would be so cool in a club. Like this would be such a good groove. Yeah, I, I think that you could go either way. You could have the kick a little bit less dynamic like it is, but I still think it needs a little bit of dynamics for it to really feel full. But loving the leads, loving the ideas. Keep the me clap. Alive. Just keep me alive. The clap definitely needs to be brought up in volume. Keep me alive. The snare. Just keep me alive. Label suggestions. Uh, I don't really know this style too well. Maybe like odd one out. Uh... Aliastics recordings, I think they're called. Aliatics, Aliastics, Yanowitz. Yeah, this is exactly what I was thinking. Like a Ritter, this is when I hear it, I was picturing you playing it at, at Ritter, like warming up. So, yeah, Wizarding Wolf, you could sign it to Wizarding Wolf. Good, good call, Mojo. Uh, yeah, I, I really like this. This is really cool. That lead there though, like crank that up. You could also try uh, Soli's label, um, Parquet Recordings. Um, Radicon, yeah. Um, but yeah, really, really cool track. I love that. Yeah, I get to hear this play out in a club for sure. Um, okay, we have one, uh, two more tracks. We have El Babastico, Emotional Response to Music, and then I have one from uh, Ver Ver Vera Lila. I was hoping she would jump in the chat, but she didn't, so hopefully I'll just let her know to watch it after. But really cool track, Juliana.
And thanks for the donation again, by the way. And thanks for everybody for the support. <laughs> Look at my camera shaking when I was dancing. I didn't even realize. <laughs> a limiter on this. Oh, here. Yeah, a kick is a bit loud, but not powerful. Yeah, exactly, D. It's like very high in the mids. Vocal effects would sound cool too, Yelena. Like uh, some glitchy vocal like delays and stuff on the vocal to make it more interesting. I think it also helps the, that the vocal doesn't feel so stagnant. Music induces emotions because of expressive emotional movements. Kick needs some high end for sure. It's not punching through the, it's not like cutting through the mix. It needs more high end. Maybe another layer. Probably you need to layer it up. That sounds good. Percussion sounds good. The claps are way too quiet. Interesting. Really cool breakdown. That something in music will come which you like a lot, and this will create pleasure. There could be also tension because you know that something in the music is about to come, but you don't know when and what is going to happen. Nice. Love the groove here, love the energy, love the breakdown.
Very cool track. I just think that the kick. And the clap need to be fixed. The kick is just uh, quite um, muffled. It needs a little bit more top end and a tiny bit more low end and less, maybe a little bit less mids. Uh, and then the clap is just kind of not really noticeable. It's really, really quiet and it's not very powerful. We have one track left. Uh, this is going to be on SoundCloud, so we're not going to see it in Ableton. Uh, is there anybody I, in the chat that I missed? Um, anybody that wants to submit a track last minute? Um, and I love that breakdown too. That breakdown was really cool with the monologue. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, cool track, Alejandro. Baseline sounds good too. Okay, on to Vero, Vero Lila. Um, I don't hear it. I think it's because of this. Do you guys still hear this? Univac's also a good idea, Mojo. You guys can still hear this? Uh, this track playing, right? The, the hi-hats and stuff? There's such a delay from when I speak to when it actually goes <laughs> through the chat. Okay, amazing, thank you. Like a 10 second delay. Uh, so we have the hi hats are really panned to the right. It's very distracting. It's like it's panned way too much. So bring that definitely closer to the center or have another hat on the left side that's balancing it out. Otherwise, it's very distracting. The kick is also. Lacking a bit of low. The auto pan on those shakers is also a little bit distracting. Well, 13 more followers on SoundCloud and I hit 7,000. That's crazy. That is really crazy. Nice riff. Really, really like that, that riff. Really like that synth. Vibe is pretty good on this. Yeah, you're right, Dennis. A good clap would fit. idea. Lead sits well in the mix.
Nice, nice build, nice drop. The high end of the mix is a little bit bright, like the kick and the bass are a little bit quieter than the rest of the synth and the hi-hats and stuff, so I think that the melodies and the hats need to be shifted down a little bit, and the low end is going to be a little bit higher because of that, like 5 or 10%. Okay, that's it. All right. My ears are a little bit numb now, as they do tend to tend to become after a while. Oh, and it's getting late for me, Sunday night. Thanks to everybody so much for tuning in. I appreciate you as always. Great, kind of sounds like you have a separate track. It's almost like you could have three separate tracks here. Yeah, good, good call, D. So you said that the break feels like it's a separate track. The breakdown feels like it's a separate track. Almost sounds like you could have three separate tracks. Would concentrate on making one um, into a whole track. Yeah, I can see that. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for the donations, the patronage, the support. Very much appreciated. Um, I'll do this stream again next month. I have a sample pack coming out this week on Patreon. It's a little bit late this month because I've been a little bit busy, but I'll be doing that this week. Um, and then uh, another video coming out next week. And then another video coming out the week after that. It's going to be a how to make music like video. Um, so definitely check that out. And I will see everybody in the next stream. Have a good rest of your Sunday night. And I'll see you next time. And now I sit here for a few seconds so as I can say bye to everybody in the chat. My pleasure. Hope to see you soon, Juliana. We'll catch up soon. Now that Sissy's going to be open soon, we'll go to Sissy Foss and some, catch a set of yours or something. All right, good night, everybody. Take care. <laughs>